on this episode. I think this is a good one to start off with, this Impreza. Maybe it's his uh, favourite for a certain reason. An official anime made by Subaru. We're out here today at Fuji Speedway in the shadow of Mount Fuji to look at Itasha. This is the Itasha Vision photo session meeting. If you don't know what Itasha are, they're those cars with pictures of anime girls all over them, but I'd like to think there's a lot more to it than that. Essentially, it's an all genre meeting. We have stuff from Japan, stuff from overseas, everything from K cars to GTRs and everything in between. But the common theme is some tie into anime, manga or video game culture. The popular themes this year seem to be virtual idols, VTubers and gacha games. And if you don't know what those are, stick around because you're going to find out. So as we usually do at these shows, we're going to go for a walk up and down the aisles and see what's here. I'll do my best to explain what's going on, but at the same time, this uh, Itasha Vision show is an invite only show and 200 of Japan's best Itasha are here today. I think this is a good one to start off with, this Impreza, which sort of shows the evolution of Itasha in Japan, because this one's based on a non-Japanese property, which is the cyberpunk video game, but it was turned into an anime called Edge Runners, which is quite popular overseas as well. And so we've got Rebecca, some little accessories there, Rebecca's guns, and Lucy on this side. So you can see that the, the design on the cars these days is gotten a lot more complex and especially I think just at first glance what I've noticed is the color schemes that they choose and the typography that they're using these days has become a lot more complicated and like I said before foreign cars are quite popular to use as Itasha and it's BMW with Hololive Laplace and as you can see the design uh, is getting much more complicated. There's a lot more thought and work being put into them these days. Sort of flow with the look of the car and also like the pose of the character. Which is very important when it's your favourite character. This uh, mini driver likes flair. And one thing you'll see in a lot of these cars too. Nice wheels, nice tyres, nice brakes. One important thing we need to talk about is how do the owners choose what character to put on the car? Well, the last time we saw this R34, it had um, Marin from Hololive. But now he has Asuna from Blue Archive. Maybe it's his uh, favorite for a certain reason. The Blue Archive is, what I've mentioned before, a gacha game. So despite these wraps costing thousands and thousands of dollars, uh, he's completely changed it as has this 8.6. I can't remember what this one used to look like. I know it was different. Uh, here's what it used to look like. And he's changed it this time to Simboli Rudolph from Uma Musume, which is also a gacha game like Blue Archive is. Now it kind of makes sense uh, that gacha game players have the kind of money to change their wraps a lot. A gacha game is one of those phone games where you buy loot boxes and you, know, you get characters and power-ups and all that sort of stuff. So stuff like Genshin Impact, Blue Archive, Azure Lane, uh, Uma Musume, and um, even Raid Shadow Legends, I guess technically counts as a gacha game. The popular character like of the week or the month in those games tends to change quite a lot. Uh, Domo. So uh, yeah, they tend to change quite a lot. Pretty nice Civic with uh, Koyori from Hololive, who I believe recently became the most watched uh, VTuber on YouTube. I won't bother explaining it, but if you don't know what a VTuber is, look it up. It is quite literally a rabbit hole to fall down. Pun intended. And uh, I don't know how safe this is for YouTube, but Lucky Star, which is uh, also from, geez, like 15 years ago now. I think we may have seen this Lancer Evo at the last Itasha Vision 2, uh, Strike Witches themed, but it's been updated a bit. And you can see they've uh, put a lot of work into some of the details, like the wheels, you know, like a, a regular show car would, but, uh, just with a few extra 
little accessories like figures and uh, you know, scrolls riding uh, passenger. Oh, I kind of like this one. It's got the Yokohama wheels and I think that's the Vertex body kit. And Anohana, which looks cute, but uh, yeah, don't watch it if you don't want to cry. Integra, Integra. Now, wait a minute. Uh. <laughs> yeah, there's always someone with a big stack of uh, Nestle Betty's, which are these like dolls that look like they're lying down flat. Oh, okay, this one. Oh, what was this called? Uh, so this was, believe it or not, an official anime made by Subaru. The actual car maker Subaru. And they put it on YouTube and it was uh, sort of a stereotypical magical girl series where they had to collect, now I'm not even joking here, what they called engine fragments, which is kind of unfortunate for these things here. Kind of an unfortunate uh, word to use when it comes to a Subaru. I don't know if it's on the internet or not still it might be and I think they may have subtitled it as well but uh, yeah this is the official Subaru anime and the main character was called Subaru funnily enough oh look the owner made his own little prop of like the engine fragments alright I just heard a funny story from the guy who owns this car so you can see how the design of this really matches the car right well, I asked him, how did you manage to get like clean artwork from a show that's like 12 years old? And he said his girlfriend is an artist. And he said to her, I'll buy you a brand new MacBook if you draw the art for me. And uh, he just finished it yesterday, like he stuck it on yesterday. So, yeah, pretty good deal, I'd say. It's kind of nice. The Daihatsu SA with Cisse. been kind of stripped out on the inside. These cars are becoming kind of popular right now, the Daihatsu SE, uh, for a few reasons. First of all, they're very cheap, and uh, if you modify them, they're kind of fast compared to similar K cars. They're not fast fast, but they're kind of fast. This Civic's only got the window done. I don't know, maybe he's worried about his paint. And this GC8 looks pretty nasty, even if it wasn't all wrapped. Wide body, R888 semi slicks. One thing you can see too is all these cars have number plates on them, which means they drove here. None of them are all that extreme where they, you know, can't drive on the street. And that's sort of the point of these cars is, you know, you drive around in them and profess your love for a certain character like this one AMA from Hololive which I'm a bit of a fan of yeah the owner said he's gonna change uh, this design pretty soon too also to a, a video game character so it looks like all the all the previous uh, VTuber fans are changing to uh, video game fans now yeah that's sort of how it goes well, I can say for a fact that this kind of tint is not legal at all. But I'm not really sure he's too worried about that. Uh, this one is based on a Niji Sanji character that I don't know. Oh, here's one people might know. This is uh, Licorice Recoil. With uh, Chisato on this side. And I'm guessing it's going to be Takina on this side. Now oh, this Roadster belongs to the guy who did the graphics for my Moto Compo, which I still haven't shown on the channel. I'm going to take it to these guys who can do like modernization uh, with like the batteries and things like that. Okay, this is it's the most wanted M3, but it's done up in uh, Silence Suzuka colors, which is a, a horse girl character. If what I'm talking about sounds kind of interesting, I recommend watching some of the previous Itasha videos where I go into a bit more of an explanation as to uh, why there are cars with pictures of 
humanoid horse girls on them? Uh, the answer is video game, basically. This is rice shower. I know that because I looked up some information on this character, like the actual horse this character is based on. And it fell in a race and was euthanized, which is always fun. Xion. More Xion. This is the Xion corner. Okay, Xion's pretty popular. <laughs> nice Gloria front half for the regular car people. There is an entire row of Xion cars here. I didn't know she was that popular. Uh, the car is a Honda, but the character is Subaru, who looks like a sports coach but is actually a duck. Uh, if you like uh, weird in-jokes that take a while to learn, uh, Hollow Live is a good place for that. Or just VTubers in general. Okay, this is a good time to ask for some YouTube engagement. First of all, like the video. Second of all, subscribe to the channel. Third, write in the comments, what car and character combo do you think I should build? And if it was you, what car and character combo would you build? For example, would it be uh, an FD RX-7 with uh, Polka on it? I, I know at least one person who would answer yes to that question. I like the wraps on the uh, on the bucket ooh, on the bucket seats. A bit of wind nearly blew that over. I mean, if you're going to make an Itasha, there's only two routes you can take, I think. Either, you know, like a K car like this, like something small, cute and funny, or you just go straight for a GTR. There's no between, what do you think? Alright, this is a bit of a weird one. It's got the Volkswagen Caddy with Usada Construction. Now, I'm guessing that means this character, uh, Usada Pekora. The Luna 2K. I guess one good thing about sedans is you have plenty of room on the side for more graphics. Yeah, four door is the way to go. You have more space for graphics. All right, this one's a little bit different. Uh, Corky S14, but it has a bit of uh, a bit of West Coast flavor. And, oh, I just noticed that. <laughs> yeah, West Coast. And he's blasting a Mori Calliope song. It's nice to see something a bit different. Daihatsu Tanto with Rebecca as well. I'm guessing it's on air too, because there's no way he's driving out that low. Oh, I just met the owner. Team Ichiwari. That's the original sticker they got there. It means bad, bad position or bad place. And uh, he said, the team name came from Every time they go somewhere to meet, you know, some sketchy dudes would come along and mess with them, or the police would come, or something. So they just decided to name their team that. Bad position. Bad <laughs> position. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, ignore the. Yeah, ignore that. There you go. So airbag system in the back. Uh, speaking of American-looking cars, one of our characters on it. Ah, it's an Idol Master character, I don't know what it is, but can I do this? Can I do this? <laughs> Toho characters are still sticking around. That's good to see. Now this car here, this is a Daihatsu Tokot. I don't know if uh, many of you have seen this before, it's just sort of a, another little K car, but it does have a nice clean look even from factory. There's a helicopter landing over there. I wonder if someone crashed. Macross GTR. Macross Widebody Fair Lady. Pretty fancy over here. I was wondering if there'd be one. Bocce the Rock. I don't know, for people who watch anime, you tell me what you think. I reckon there's a... 
like the music instrument cartel every 10 years or so gets together and makes an anime about girls playing guitars to improve guitar sales because it, I reckon it seems to work this demio has got a nice squat look to it like it looks like a, a spec racer doesn't it with those wheels and tires and the number and I'm just going by the body kit and the wheels but I'm pretty sure this Lan Evo used to be uh, an Ikitosen car but now it is uh, Chaos Rat and it's a full wrap as well. Oh, I was just thinking the guy with this N1 maybe didn't get the wrap done in time. He's, he's got the fender done, but the rest of the car is pretty blank. So, you know, just uh, draw something in, in Posca on the back, I guess. I like these. These are kind of drift car looking. Got the Gloria and the Mark II. And big fat VSKFs. And sort of an orange window tint too. These are nice. I like these. Most of these are Love Live characters that I don't know because I've never followed Love Live. But you can be sure that all of them have a unique and very different personality. And within their ranks you can find one that uh, you like, maybe. All right, it's all for me today. Which one of my cars should I turn into an Itasha? Or should I get a completely different one altogether? Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that when it happens. Also, if you want to see the videos daily, like these people here, there's my tier three subs over on Patreon. Join the Patreon. Also, here's some more Itasha videos for you to watch. I recommend that for so you can learn more about them. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next time. すいませんちょっとバタバタとですね進めて。<笑>